Edward Teach was born, it is believed, in Bristol, England, although this is not substantiated. It is also thought, he was born in the year of 1680, but again there is no written proof of this. Edward Teach's beginnings are not recorded in any form. There is some speculation that having decided to take up the life of a pirate, such men would no longer use their birth name, so as to bring no shame upon their families. Such is thought to be the case in this instance. There are no records of family, birth, place of birth, or early childhood. It is unlikely that his true name will ever be known. Again next to nothing is known of teacher's education, although it has been recorded he was able to read and write, he communicated, and traded with other merchants, which would indicate he had at least received some sort of education. As far as his career is concerned, it was very illustrious, if not particularly long. He created quite the reputation for being a fearsome pirate, and one no one wanted to tangle with. Mainly sailing around the West Indian seas, he was originally recruited by Captain Benjamin Hornigold. After Captain Hornigold retired, Teach captured another merchant ship, renaming it Queen Anne's Revenge, and proceeded to become the fearsome pirate Blackbeard. Acquiring his name from his prominent Blackbeard and terrifying appearance. For a brief time he accepted the royal pardon, and settled down in Bath Town, but ever having the wanderlust in his blood he soon returned to his piratical ways. Blackbeard became famous, more since his death, than so much as during his life. Although he encouraged a healthy reputation for being one of the most feared of all pirates whilst he lived, it was upon his death that his roaming spirit has become the topic of many a tale. After he lost his head, during his last battle, as much from his injuries as from it actually being cut off, his head was displayed on the bowsprit, as a warning to other pirates of what could befall them. It is said his spirit roams the earth looking for his missing head, in fear that the devil, and his friends, won't recognize him, when he enters hell. He died, as he lived, in a furious battle. Outwitted and outmaneuvered, Blackbeard and a small crew were drawn into boarding the ranger, captained by Lieutenant Robert Maynard, who had secreted his crew below decks, in order to surprise Blackbeard. The ploy worked so successfully, that Blackbeard was lulled into believing he could take the ship. During the fight, as Blackbeard attacked Maynard, a member of Maynard's crew managed to strike Blackbeard a fatal blow, with his sword, across Blackbeard's throat, which halted his own attack. As Maynard examined Blackbeard's body afterward, it was seen that he had been shot at least five times, and around twenty cuts were visible on his body. His head was used as a trophy, and his body thrown overboard. Blackbeard died, on November 22, 1718.